hello guys today i'll be creating a listing okay on amazon using uh, your website first of all what we have to do is go to this uh, inventory and add a product this is amazon seller account okay uh, let's say we are creating an object uh, a product which is not uh, sold on amazon for now okay, let's click here and you have to select your category right now uh, notebook computer is there but i'll select using this Okay, and here I go. I'll be using this category. Okay, and then this uh, will be uh, this field will be shown. We are doing this because uh, first of all we have to create a dummy listing on the Amazon Seller Center. Okay, uh, this is done by filling all of these fields and this offer field, and then uh, we will be uh, giving complete details using our uh, website front end. Okay, now uh, let's say. I'll be using a uh, product ID uh, which you have provided. Okay, uh, the product ID is using your, usually your UPC number. Okay, I'll be using this one, and I go. I'll paste it here and select UPC option here. Okay, and the I title which I'm going to use is uh, let's say it is this one, and you can write whatever title you want. This will be the title that will be displayed on your Amazon seller account. Okay. Uh, well, you can uh, usually update it from your uh, PC room. Okay, now I will be pasting model number. Let's say this can be your PC uh, model number. Okay, and however, let's say I am setting it as Linux. M type. Let's say it is DDR2 and processor account. Let's say it's one. Uh, let's say I'm doing Nvidia. Just a long processor. Mistakes and brand let's say it's intel and i'll be filling these fields too let's say it's rm5 okay as i've selected intel brand so core i3 i think good okay and then it says yes and select this it says 13 inches and uh, this will be our field of how many inches okay and then in the hard disk description we'll select your hard drive and interface which type of hard drive this is okay and then oh, what is this storage space message to the physics for now and this texture let's say it's PC room okay and then go to this offer tab and here let's say are you fixing it as eleven hundred dollars canadian dollars okay and there uh we have to place our sku okay that will be unique well i will be using this uh this is the uh you may say id which will be uh assigned by you and this will help you in searching the item okay and quantity let's say one or zero and condition let's say it's new and then just save and finish okay so you can say it says it may take over 15 minutes okay so the product may take 15 minutes to process and show here let's refresh it and see if it's here uh, not sure. i pause my video and you can see uh, it's here uh, it's here after five minutes okay so it may take uh, 15 minutes for you so be patient and now uh, the dummy listing is done now we'll, what we'll be doing is we'll be going to our pc room site okay so i am here uh, what you have to do is you have to go to uh, you can say select go to in, uh, any item and then select this add new item okay but right now i will not be doing it uh, and i'll be going right here okay i have key, uh, written out some info so i will not be deleting them okay uh, this title i've written it and you can see that uh, this title here and this title here are not same i've added this new keyword so this uh, when this item is processed you will see that this this will change here too okay and there will be an image also now let's get back here add your title okay whatever you want where and here add your descriptions and here select uh, your category i'll select computers and laptop okay and then here select your brand whatever it is uh, i'll select lenovo and then add your image uh, the image uh, already added here for me and other gallery images you can add here too 
then in general add your price regular price sale price and uh, standard price uh, and select taxable here okay select taxable and this should be stranded now then go to inventory and write the same SKU number this SKU number should be same uh, which is here okay which you have added here this should be same to your uh, dummy product and then enable this check this okay and then uh, change the quantity to 4 right now you can see uh, we had uh, written 0 quantity for it okay and the status is also incomplete here you can see after that uh, the back order should uh, you should uh, not allow them and yeah this should be left empty here and initial right initial number uh, whatever you want to and then go to shipping and add the weight of the product and the dimensions of the product and then uh, the class should be whatever category you have selected i've selected uh, laptop so i've uh, checked it here then go to attributes and uh, add all the attributes here if you're getting new uh, attributes then uh, uh, new product then you won't be seeing these attributes so what you have to do is go uh, just go to here and uh, you have to select sorry no okay let me okay so it's back now what you have to do is you have to go here uh, to the custom product attribute and there you can see uh, these attributes select whatever attributes you want you want cpu type uh, i've selected cpu type screen resolution and graphic processor hd hdmi display and just select all of these uh, uh, attributes screen size uh, display resolution and cpu type let me uh, show you one what i have done okay let's select color and add here and yeah, at the bottom you can see the attribute is added of color and then just go here and i'm going to add black color and you can also add new color if you have any let's say white or white okay and select okay okay there it is but i will be only going with white okay here for now just to show you yes and add all uh, these attributes okay you can see out here and then select this save attribute this will update this okay and then go to uh, advanced and it is left it as it is and then uh, you don't need to go to any other tab here and then go to the other uh, section which is Amazon options and add the product ID which is should be the same SQ number which you have used before and I had used this one so I'm just copying it and pasting it here and select this to UPC and add the title as I told you this will update the title out here okay just nice. After that, select the price. Uh, before I had selected 1100, now I've selected 1200. Uh, 1100, I've selected 1100 on the Amazon seller account, uh, if you remember. But I will be now updating it to 1200. Okay, and just to clear uh, that I've uh, that the changes have been made. And select, uh, leave these two as it is, and then select item condition. Uh, if it is new, then new. And write the note here. Just write uh, anything regarding the item condition. If it is normally, if it is refurbished or uh, second hand, then you have to write some condition out of it. Okay. And then write your bullet points. Okay. Uh, what does it include? Uh, I'm including these three. And then uh, your keywords. Okay. That will be used uh, on Amazon site. And then add your Amazon images. Uh, okay. Just leave this field. You don't need it. You don't need this custom field. Okay. And then add uh, your short description about your product. Okay. And then leave this review as it is. And leave. Uh, for now leave this uh, options too and also leave this then go to amazon field attributes and you have to select uh, computer ca version 2020.0112 okay uh, as uh, uh, you, are, you are shipping in canada okay. and then uh, what you have to do is uh, just uh, look at the product type and uh, enter what category we have selected you know uh, as you remember we had selected the notebook computer on amazon seller account so this category and the SQ number should always be same and let's say brand you know you know and the id this uh, is your upc number okay which we have entered two times before i'll be copying it and pasting it just right here okay and then this is upc number as you know uh title uh let's just go up here and copy your title oh where are you there you are let's copy it and yeah, you can also copy this one because they both are same uh just go out here and pasting it okay and manufacturer uh as you remember, I'm written PC room on the Amazon seller account and then uh, recommended routes notes. These are uh, your uh, numbers. I'll be entering 9364. And the other one will be okay, 541 966. Okay, uh, and now manufacturer part number, uh, which you have uh, for your laptop. I'll be adding this. Over and then the model number okay uh i don't remember what i wrote in the amazon seller account but i'll be uh, let's say this is my model number okay 
and now processor brand should be selected which is intel and you can go with whatever brand you want to count let's say it's one processor down here and the graphic core as i say is nvidia okay and then the series just select it as four let's say it's i7 okay and now uh you have to go to hard drive size one okay and right uh how much space does it provide i would say it provides 256 gb okay and now what you have to do is leave all other spaces and go to the processor speed there it is you can see and write the processor speed okay uh these are the main fields which you have to fill then uh select the unit let's say gigahertz 2.4 gigahertz and then uh select the color let's say it's black okay and screen resolution should also select it for x Oh my god, 76 and should be. And then select uh, whatever operating system we'll be using. I will say it's using Linux. And then go to RAM size. Uh, and let's say it's 8 GB. Select the unit of it. Uh, and then select screen size. I will say it's 13 inch. Uh, just don't write the mining unit here because we'll be selecting the units up here. And then uh, item length. Uh, just keep in mind that all the dimensions you entered here should also be entered here over here okay length was 7 and width was 12 and the height was 2 then uh, above there I selected this inch so I was selecting in and then weight was I think 1.5 above there and it's similar to this kg uh, standard price let's say it's 100 carry dollars you can see you can select uh, then what you have to do is uh, be patient and uh, leave uh, we are going to leave any uh, attributes you can say which are not needed out here and uh, we'll be going to uh, directly go <coughs> on a batteries part okay just scroll down to the batteries or you can also what you can do is go here and press control plus f okay after pressing the plus f right we actually and this will just take you to the uh, batteries portion as i'm going to call it and i'm here then uh, what you have to do is you have to uh, go to the battery uh, number of batteries. I would say is using one of this and one of this and one of this. You can select uh, right. Okay, how many batteries are this? Just uh, repeat it here. And then I will be selecting this pair volt type battery. Okay, and there it goes. Now you can say uh, if the batteries are not included in the package, then and just leave this field empty. Uh, but they are included. I will say true. Okay. If they are not in the, in the parcel then you can select here false and leave the above field empty then uh, right there is legal disclaimer, uh, disclaimer regarding this or you can also leave this empty then uh, i'll be going to battery weight uh where it is battery weight where it is then you have to write uh, what is the weight of the battery okay and then uh, write how many cells of the battery have i would say it has one uh, three cells sorry and lithium ion let's say metal cells are three and uh, lithium ion cell let's say is one and uh, what you have to do is provide uh, this in ground so the lithium content you i'll say 7.54 just you have to fill these fields then after that uh go to the un number and just write the un number okay okay i'll be testing this one uh, which i searched from google okay and uh i'll be pasting this link uh, you can see this is a safety uh leadership url link uh, which i also took from google okay you can also write it if you want to uh this should be included then write the volume of the battery let's say it's now 2.4.78 okay and item volume unit uh, let's say cup okay and then uh what we have to do is i think leave or uh, everything which is down here and just scroll up again and just select update down here okay it's may take about 10 to 20 seconds after this you can see uh, this and this will say product updated just as you can see here okay after that scroll down to amazon and feeds okay after you can see there is something some status saying pending and no batch number nothing at all just check it and select submit pending feeds okay and then you can see the next check form will be executed in three minutes so you have to wait three minutes before it shows if uh, the status is done or you can say if it is done with errors okay so we'll be waiting for three minutes i will just be skipping the video till it is done okay then after uh, three minutes just refresh 
my page and then you can see the status is done okay uh just to confirm you can go again to listing and there you can see it's submitted okay uh, now let's go to amazon there we are uh, okay let's refresh it for once okay so you can see uh, a new one is created out here okay and with this price tag which we have selected uh, okay uh, it may take some time uh, after uh, you can say about uh, 30 minutes within 30 minutes uh, all the uh, fields will be filled okay right now you can see the image is empty but all other fields have been updated and are here available okay uh, let's go to edit and check what do we have here you can see that you can see uh, out here the image is showing uh, everything is showing here but which we added okay just you can see but uh, it is not showing in this uh, page right now because uh, within 30 minutes it will be updated okay and this is how uh, you can list the product on amazon seller account using your uh, pc room okay so that's it from my side thank you if you have any other questions do ask